I'm going to show how to use Excel to analyze some data. Uh, so first, let's see how do we calculate the mean value. So those are the several cell count from uh, uh, from using a different dilution. So those are I'm going to calculate uh, the average and using the average function. Oops, uh, sorry. So if you look at the average, you see. Is it going to uh, 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 give you a hint? How do we use the first number, comma, second number? So I will just pick the first number, and then comma, then pick the second number, comma, pick the third number, and parentheses. And then I can just copy paste those to the rest of the cell. Those are my uh, uh, average uh, cell densities. Um, uh, it's probably as to the standard deviation. Yeah, so that's again number one, comma, number two, comma, number three. And this is okay, that's my standard deviation. And then copy and just paste. So then let's copy the OD goes to here and then copy your cell density make sure those are values so the number are there I'm going to change this to density and then we can do the uh, scatter part in charts scatter mark the scatter so this density so well the y-axis starts a cell density, so it's not very good linear, but uh, that's what we have. So then I add a trend line. Um, this linear. Go to option, display equation, display r squared value on chart. There, so that I have the charts. Uh, 0.25. It's not very good, but that's what we have. So now let's do the cell density versus the CFU part. So I'm again going to copy paste this. Uh, those are all values only. Okay, that's my density. And then this is my CFU concentration. So the CFU, oops, uh, uh, values only. So this is my CFU concentration. Uh, well, con concentration. So CFU measure the live cells. The cell density will count every cell. And we will, let's see how these two uh, measure uh, match up and select all column then go to charts scatter oh <coughs> it's not very good correlation but that's what uh, the data that's the data we have so This should be a CFU concentration. That should be cell density. So then right click on this, add trend line, and linear, and use options as display equation, display R square. So on PC, maybe the the, the options are in different uh, menus or uh, pop up uh, uh, menus, but the feature will still be there. So this R square is 0.18. It's um, that's what we have. But I mean, that's what we have to write in the report. Okay, I hope it's helpful.